Hello and welcome to this tutorial on CS50 Python course, week one, problem set, math, interpreter. In this tutorial, we're going to break down the requirements and walk you through the process of creating a Python program to interpret and evaluate basic mathematical expressions. In this video, we'll learn how to approach the task of building a math interpreter in Python. So, if you're following the CS50 Python course or just interested in improving your Python skills, this video will guide you through the essentials of this intriguing problem set. Let's get started with a closer look at the challenges and solutions involved in Math Interpreter from CS50 Python Week 1. This is CS50! <laughs> Let's open PyCharm and see the to-do lists. The first thing in the to-do list or the or planning our program is that we're going to prompt the user for an arithmetic expression. Then we're going to split this expression into X, Y, and Z as we saw in the problem set page. So assuming that the user will write an expression like five space plus space six then we're gonna assign the five to x the plus sign to y and the six to z and we're gonna see how we're gonna do this in a moment the third task or the third thing in our list is to convert x and z which are the numbers we're gonna convert them to a floating point which is a task in the problem set that the final result should be a floating point. The final step is the core of the program itself, which is the conditional. And also we're gonna see how to do this. So the first thing is we're gonna prompt the user. And in order to prompt the user, we'll prompt the user using input. And before that, we're gonna create an expression to in which we're gonna save this input of the user. So we're gonna input and let's write down the message that's gonna pop up. So X expression, we're gonna ask the user to write the expression or the mathematical expression. And we're gonna strip this expression to clear the leading or trailing spaces from this expression. So next step, as splitting this expression as we said if the user has given us the expression as 5 plus 6 so we're gonna assign 5 to x plus to y and 6 to z in order to do that we're gonna write x y z will equal the expression of the user dot split we're gonna split this expression in the space part so each part has a space and we're going to split in this space then the next step is converting the x and the z into floats so x will equal a float of x same thing y, same thing z will be converted into a z a float of z which is the floating point here comes the interesting part and the conditions or to set up the conditions we have multiple ways in, in python we can use if condition and else and we can use also a nice thing or a nice way as we have seen in the course which is match and case match what you need we we need to choose the thing that we're going to match here we're going to match the y which is going to be a plus a minus a, um, a star which is for uh, multiplication or a forward slash which is going to be for division so in case the y equals uh, so here we're going to match the y so in case y equals a plus we're gonna do something so let's copy that 
in case um, y equals minus we're gonna do something same time here same thing for uh, multiplication and same thing for the um, division so in case y equals to a plus so we're gonna print out to the user let's make it a let's make it a formatted string with curly braces for the equation so we're gonna print out the first number which is x and plus and the second number or the second floating float number which is which is z in that case and we're gonna add a way to convert the number to one floating point as we have been asked in the problem set so so column dot one f will give us a one floating point if we change it to colon colon dot two f it will give us a two floating point so we need it as a one floating point same story goes here if the y equals um, a minus so we're gonna print out the formatted string as x minus z and we'll convert that to one floating point same story applies to the formatted string um, for the equation x divide x multiplied by z and to one floating point last thing we're going to print out for the division formatted string x forward slash z converted to one floating point and we have here a nice way to tell python that in case of so if anything else just give us who which is it's not a plus a minus a multiplication or a division so it's what and let's try that out python interpreter dot py let's try seven plus five and equals ten try again seven minus five equals two and try seven times five thirty five and there is one floating point here and let's try the division let's say that said that means our program is working just fine now you can copy this whole text and go to VS Code Online as instructed by the CS50 here on the problem set. Follow the instructions, make a directory interpreter and change to this directory. Create the program itself, then paste the code inside the program. Try to check 1 plus 1, 2 minus 3, 2 times 2, 50 divided by 5. And before submitting your work, you need to check 50. And if everything is working fine, you can go to the last step, step and submit your application or submit your program or your problem set to CS50 for evaluation. Thank you. Good luck. Feel free to contact me anytime.